Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon. Shane Flippin' McMahon is going to become WWE Champion in 2019. What? All right, guys, we got to sit down and talk about this because there's a report coming out that Kofi Kingston could lose the WWE Championship to Shane McMahon. What year are we in? So there was a report coming out from WrestleVotes on Twitter, and they're actually very accurate when it comes to reports. And they had actually said that there is a possibility that all of this hoo-ha from Shane McMahon could lead to him becoming a WWE champion. Let's source it. I've asked what the payoff is to this major Shane McMahon push and TV time allotment. No one seems to have a solid answer. One source said he could be just his speculation here. Shane McMahon being the one to defeat Kofi for the title. This would be something. Yeah, something is what you could call this. Shane McMahon is now part of the get off my TV club here in the WWE. I need to just get this out of the way, all right? Because I'm not here to just hate Shane McMahon. Because Shane McMahon was awesome. Shane McMahon was one of the few McMahons who I thought still had brain cells in the modern era. When you think back, you you get so much cringe stuff from Stephanie McMahon. Linda was never great on television. And now it feels like Vince is kind of losing his mind here and his marbles and everything we've heard from the podcast. That's good shit, pal. Like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But Shane McMahon was that guy who was the savior for the WWE. Really was. We really all thought that Shane McMahon coming into WWE, coming back to the WWE would be a great thing. And it was a great thing for a short time. But they've gone and ruined it. Oh, yes, they have. Because Shane McMahon started out as a young punk kid, the corporation, to the corporate ministry, to all that junk. And he left the WWE. And why did he leave the WWE? Because he didn't like the direction the WWE was going and wanted to do his own thing. He was going to go out there and do his own MMA thing. He was even slated at one point that he was going to buy the old ECW and restart it and all that. When ECW went out of business, they were going to have like Shane McMahon. It was like his passion project. He was going to run it online and it was going to be this cool thing. And of course, WWE took that, ruined it, and messed it all up like they always do. But... Shane McMahon, upset, left the WWE, was gone. And Shane was cool, man. When Shane had his matches against like Kurt Angle, Steve Blackman, you think about all that stuff, Shane McMahon was the man back in the day. And then he decides to leave the WWE. He doesn't, he doesn't agree with the direction. He thinks it sucks. All right. All right, we like this guy. We like this Shane McMahon guy. We love him. We think he's awesome. We think he's great. He's he's sticking up for what he believes in. And then he comes back, right? And then he's the SmackDown general manager, which I'm okay with that. I was okay with Shane McMahon and the SmackDown general manager. And I was okay with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan running things. And I was okay with that because Shane McMahon was awesome. It felt like, it truly felt like SmackDown at that time when you had a new SmackDown 6 the Ellsworth era, I call it. You might not have liked Ellsworth, but you think about all that went down, right? You think about everything that played out there. The Dean Ambrose, Ellsworth, AJ Styles program, one of my favorites. Just really good stuff on SmackDown at the time. I think Naomi was getting her pushed that. Like, really good stuff. So that's what they were focusing on. They were doing all that. They were pushing that to the moon. It was great. Shane had a few matches. He did some stuff with Kevin Owens, The Miz. And then they just overexposed him. And then they just made him win the best in the world cup. Shane McMahon is touting himself as the best wrestler in the entire world, which is a meme. I get it. It's a joke. It's whatever. And they're trying to draw nuclear heat from Shane McMahon, right? They're like, oh, these people are angry. They don't, they don't like it. This is great. It's like, no, there's a difference. There's a fine line that you have to go tote here and the fine line that is being crossed here. Because I know people have tweeted me. I actually tweeted out my displeasure for Shane McMahon and said that he's not like a like a heel heat, right? Like a bad guy heat where it's like, boo, this guy sucks. 
Now, this is like a get off my television. I don't want to see Shane McMahon anymore. Has a lot to do with the wild card rule. Where you see this wild card rule and you're like, this is bad. I don't like this. Shane McMahon's everywhere on my television. And I get sick of it. And I get sick of seeing it. And I really do. And another thing is, another thing is, is that he comes off just as cringeworthy as Stephanie McMahon. He comes off just as bad as Stephanie does. Stephanie came to the point where she was with Triple H at the beginning. They were doing this heel stuff, the McMahon Helmsy era. That was okay. She still stayed heel. She did some stuff, but now it's like, ah, ah. And I feel like one of the big, huge, insane major issues with WWE is that that authority figure that's a bad guy in 2019 that worked during the Attitude Era just doesn't work anymore. And that's why that 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 character of Shane, Stephanie, and all those heel authority figures like just they they work to an extent, but the way that they do it is just it, it just doesn't work for me. So you got Shane McMahon; he's overexposed because of the wild card rule, and he's on Raw and he's on SmackDown all the time, and he's out there doing his thing, and he's becoming the top heel of the company. And there's two ways to look at it, right? Because I saw both sides of the coin, right? Oh, well, Shane will eventually lose to somebody and then that'll be their mega thing. But why? But why Shane McMahon? Why would Shane McMahon be the guy that you would push to take the title from Kofi and then have someone take him down or whatever? The, the rumor is that they could see Kofi Kingston losing to Shane McMahon. Why? I've said it before, and I said it in my What Went Wrong video. Check it out, cheap plug. There are so many talented wrestlers, performers, athletes, sports entertainers, whatever you want to call them, on the WWE roster. There is no shortage of talent. If you want to talk about quality of matches, this is probably the all-time high ever, ever, ever in wrestling for the WWE. And you want to talk about these athletes and how amazing they are and how there's characters and there's so many good characters too. And you put a guy like Shane McMahon in that spot. I get it, right? I get it. They want to build up Drew McIntyre, right? Drew McIntyre seems like he's a Shane McMahon lackey. They're trying to put over Drew at the time. Just put Drew in that spot. Don't put him with Shane McMahon and have Shane McMahon beat Roman Reigns, The Miz, all that. We, and then win the title? We don't want to see that. We don't. That's that's not what needs to happen here. Literally, that is not what I want to see. Shane McMahon should be nowhere near the title. He should be nowhere near the main event picture. He should not be the main program because it is not interesting. Shane McMahon is a utility figure he is a guy that comes in when you need a big WrestleMania moment. You need someone to jump off a cell. You bring in Shane McMahon. He goes out there, does his WrestleMania thing, and that's that. Shane McMahon is not a guy that you put the championship on and you push him to the moon. I don't want to see it. The only thing, okay, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. The only thing that could come out of this would be making Drew McIntyre a mega face, which I don't want to see Drew McIntyre as a mega face. I think he's great as a heel, so don't push him as a mega face. But this is this is literally where I could see this going. Shane McMahon beats Kofi. Drew McIntyre turns on Shane. Drew takes the title. That's where they push this story. I mean, that's how I see it playing out. That's how I could see that that story, that title, that that Shane McMahon thing playing out. But I don't want to see Drew as the. I like Drew as a heel. I think he's a great. A great heel. If you saw any of his stuff where he says he's the business, it was good. It was good. It was good. So what's going on now is that Shane McMahon is taking up our television, taking away from the guys that are talented, going out there and making me just not want to my television. That's not the Shane McMahon I remember. The one who stood up for what he believed in. If it was crappy television, he didn't want to be involved. If he thought WWE sucked, he didn't want to be around it. I feel like it's just, it's like, 
it's like become this point in the WWE where there's like cogs in a wheel and a machine and a and a thing, and they're just like, all right, we have a script for this guy and a script for this guy and a script for this guy, and like they're all just players in the game. They're all just little NPCs running around. They have no control over their real life. They don't have any say in their decisions. They're just out there doing their NPC thing. They just plug in this guy to do this, plug in that guy to do that. And if if you don't want to be part of that play, you want to play in the game, right? Then don't don't be a part of the team. That's how it is. Because WWE doesn't give people their freedom. It doesn't have any any variation. It's not the WWE that that inspired people, right? Because you have a team of writers and everybody's writing for something and there's a million Hollywood people and there's people that don't like wrestling. There's people that do like wrestling. They have a whole mix of writers. So what they do is they say, hmm, you know who's great for this role is Shane McGann. And then they write like a huge story for Shane McGann and they do this whole Shane McGann thing and it's like Shane just shows up and reads his lines. It's literally being an actor in a movie now. It's not being an inspired performer, an athlete, all that, a sports entertainer where you come out where you're like, dude, I got this brilliant idea. Here's 10 pages of script that I thought of myself. Or Stone Cold Steve Austin was like, this is what we're doing and it's going to be awesome. But instead, you have guys show up, here's your script, do it to your best ability and move on. And trying to fight, we've seen like Dean Ambrose leaving, doing John Moxley stuff, talk is Jericho. It just doesn't work. And everything's just falling apart, just like the WWE stuff. So Shane McMahon winning the WWE Championship, not best for business. Not the way to go. Don't do it. Don't do it to put someone else over and yada, yada, yada. It's part of the get off my television movement. And I don't want to see it. There's so many talented performers in WWE. They don't lack talent. There's a lot of great wrestlers. I'll never fault WWE for having the best talent in the world. They definitely do. From top to bottom, they have great talent. Using them, they don't really know what they're doing. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you today. Let me know what your thoughts are on Shane McMahon beating Kofi for the WWE Championship and being the top face of world wrestling entertainment. As always, my name is Tony Pete's Guy, and we will see you in another video.